everyone and welcome back to U-Boat. We're just leaving the port of Wilhelmshaven. As you can see in the top right, we are back to regular U-Boat duties. I am thinking of doing the mine laying the British Isles last and final mission at some point. But I think I just need a break from these special missions for the time being and just do a little bit more of traditional U-boat hunting. Our target for this episode is here, this grid square here, between these grid squares of BE3, AM7, AM8 and BF1. And we are taking the long route around. I, at the moment, the English Channel is a very busy channel with the French and English ships clogging it up. So what better thing to do than just avoid it altogether? We will be hunting for ships in here. Hopefully we'll come across a convoy. Now the reason as to why I'm patrolling where I am, I could actually come down a bit further south now thinking about it, which I might just do real quickly. Now the reason why I'm focusing on this side of the Celtic Sea and nowhere else is because you're more likely to find ships here than you are going to find them out here because they all have to funnel in eventually into this area whether they're going in or out in the Celtic Sea that is where they're going to be found now since last time we played there has been an update for U-Boat update 19 which has brought in a bunch of changes and optimizations and localizations but like always I will get back to you guys when something interesting is about to happen. Oh, we've just spotted a ship. We're going to dive. Periscope depth. It could be a destroyer. If not, we're going to surface and just shoot it with the 88mm. Shit, it is a destroyer. Okay. Stop. Dive, 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 dive. Blue lighting. Get off of that. Periscope down. I'm glad I dived. I was... Oh, come off of it. Very close to the bottom, it seems. Right. Stop. The reason why I'm stopping is I'm trying to fool the destroyer into thinking that they have take us, taken us out with the depth charges. Come on, think that we're dead, please. Please think that we're dead. Come on, think that we're dead. That's a good destroyer. No, 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 don't you dare come back. Please leave. Coming back. Shit. You bastard. He's pinging us, yet he's not chasing after us. What is he up to? What is this destroyed up to? 
Just realised we've got a minus one to our reputation points. That is danger close. Come on. Leave. 1.3 k's away. Just keep going. Alright, we're going to move forward very, very slowly. Alright, I think they are leaving. I'll stay submerged for the time being. What is he doing? He's coming back. Um... Of all the ocean that you could be in, you had to be in my sector. Yeah, he's, oh, I thought he might have been on a patrol vector. No, he's, he's, uh, he's now spinning around in circles. Definitely, definitely needs to be, definitely, definitely is searching for us. He's coming back. Just going to take a nice and slow. Let's see how far away they are now. 16 kilometers. widen their search pattern yeah they're still searching for us god the AI is smart now and then what I might do is we're going to surface go as fast as we possibly can alrighty we're in stormy conditions just made it to our troll sector you get onto the radio let them know that we've done it oh hello which way are you guys going? And they're coming our way too. Excellent. Those are bloody warships. All warships. I knew, I knew it was too good to be true. So that'd be, what, three corvettes and two destroyers? I'm glad their Aztec operators are, are asleep. I was really hoping that was a convoy. And it is a convoy, just not the convoy that we anticipated. Very valuable high frequency direction finder prototype is being transported by Empire Zephyr cargo ship headed to port of Liverpool where it will undergo further testing seeking the ship will noticeably, noticeably slow enemy progress in developing this technology. We estimate that it's currently passing through a square BF176 with a course of 3 to 9 degrees. The ship is moving in a convoy travelling at a speed of 13 k's an hour. That is the normal speed for all ships. Time to intercept. Here we go. We have ourselves a convoy. Oh, that's a tanker. I do like sinking me a tanker. All right, I think our first task is going to be sinking that destroyer. Right, it's in our view range. Where's that destroyer? There he is. All right, let's zoom in. And again. Oh, that's a different class destroyer than I'm used to. It is not a black swan. No, I don't think it's a black swan. It looks like a hunt class. Then again, I could be wrong. No, it is very much hunt class. Velocity, that's going about 13, so it's keeping speed with the rest of the thing. Course, it's doing roughly about that. Set. Distance. About there. Roar eins, bewässern. It's fine. We'll disengage after this. Try and get ahead of the convoy. All right. Periscope down.
There we go. That is one hunt class destroyer sunk. All right, put your periscope up a little bit. I know you want to see it sink. Yeah, she's gone. All right, down the periscope. Get us into a nice position to counter the, the convoy. And let's pause. Well, not pause, let's stop. Slow ahead, slow ahead. Let's go slow ahead. All right, stop staring at the sky. That's just ludicrous. Go to... I hate these controls. There we go. I need to fix that. That's a bug. I know it's a bug. It's a zoom bug with the controls and everything. Right. Freighter. That is a Empire... Explorer. Velocity is going to be 13 because they all all convoys travel the same. We're, they're going 90 degrees to our right. Set distance. Do -do 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 -do. Pop the mast. Uh, those ones. Set. Oh, only just missed. How far away are they? Let's get the measure, the old measuring tool out. Oh, that's miles away. Uh, distance. Uh, zoom in a bit for this. Set. 2.3 Ks. Course. That is incorrect. Why did that change? Set. Uh, yeah. Fire one. Fire that one. Close that. Unlock that. Zoom out. Let's go after the tanker. Okay. Up. Periscope. 13. Course. 90. Distance. Uh, that's about right there. Tanker is a Dale class tanker. Yep, now we go distance. Roughly about that. May miss, may not. You'll find out. Empire Kato. Freighter, that is a... Not a Liberty. That is a tower. Recognize. Velocity. 13. Course. It's going on a course like that. Distance. Set. By three. See this one. Impact. a good hit those are misses by miles yeah so they'll do their zigzags and then they'll do a speed boost that's how they normally operate yeah there they go they're doing their speed boost now and then they shall proceed to slow down if we sink this entire convoy it will be very close to finishing the first stage of the tonnage war right you are an Empire Tower. Your velocity, we're just going to double check that they're doing 13, so 3, 2, 1. And in 3, 2, 1. Now, it's going to be 13. Trust me. Course, about 90 degrees. Distance. Need to get a bit closer for that. Let's go like that. Set. Right, you are a Empire Explorer. No. Empire Bell. Recognize velocity 13. Course uh, 
Uh, something like that. Distance. Uh, course is more 90 degrees now. Distance. Fire two. Oh, this might be good. Oh! Just missed. This other one is a hit. There we go. Is that going down or is that Empire Nightingale? What a name. Now for you guys at home who have n not much knowledge about naval stuff, these masts that you see here are actually cranes because back in the old days, around 1930s, 1940s, not all docks had cranes. So, or not all areas that these guys would go and berth up to had cranes or anything like that to help them unload. So instead of the cranes like they are today waiting the docks waiting for the ships, the ships carried their own cranes and these these were the cranes. Just a little useless information for you guys at home if you're not familiar with anything maritime. You can unlock from that one, that one's at the bottom of the ocean. Right. That is the Empire Towers. Its course is ninety degrees. Distance. About there, set. By one. Now, because we're that close, I think I shall wait until that torpedo hits. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Right in the midships. Oh! She's gone. Oh! The front end of it's gone. Damn, that went down quick. Damn. That went down really quick. That's probably the fastest ship I've ever seen sink in this game. Right. Lock. Set. Course is 90 degrees. Buy one. Lock target. That is not a tanker. That is a Empire... No. Not an Empire Tower. It's a war class tanker. Never encountered one of these before. Course is roughly around that. Distance set. We shall wait though because this is about to go off. Oh, you're kidding me. Lock. Fight. Oh, I probably missed because it's further away now. Distance. Set. That's going to probably be a dud because of the impact angle. Could be wrong. Good hit. And it lost its front again. Oh, and only just missed the tanker. Alright, they're doing their little zigzags again. So, let us just get a little bit closer and then boost it. And then you drop that down. Alrighty, we are looking at the War Sudra. Alright, now that one's done. Let us have a look. See what damage we can't do to this one. Alright, let's have a look. You're an Empire Tower. Oh! They stopped moving. They all stopped moving for a brief moment. Lock you. Set. Come on. I don't understand why you cannot load and grease at the same time. Now they're doing maintenance. Right. 
that ship has sailed quite literally next target is unlocked that's our next target lock course there distance set the last torpedo oh that's looking good that's looking good There she goes. Good. All right. We're out of torpedoes. We've got ships to sink. We're surfacing. Alrighty. You are going to go on to the gun as soon as we possibly can. So first of all, we're going to sink the ship out the front, which is that war class tanker. There's that. There's our target there, but I want to take out the entire convoy because they'll help with our mission. All right, onto the gun. I love this fire mode. Alright, we are going to slow you down. It's about two speed. Come to the right in a bit. Back on the gun. Oh, crew abandoning ship. Oh no, we might have just dislodged. Oh, we did sink it. Good. Alright, we are now turning around full speed. The ship's behind us. Now we're going to go for the Dingledale. Oh no, the Elders. The Eldersdale. Dale class tanker, but we're going to do a drive by. If these merchant sailormen were to just ram us, they would sink us. They sacrificed their one vessel to allow the rest of the convoy to get away. It would have been, it would be worth it. How bad, how bad are they? All right, we can keep shooting. Oh, Zephyr's going down. Come on, Eldersdale. I could set it on fire. There we go. That's what I wanted. There goes the Eldersdale. And with our couple of final shots, we should. That should have sunk the uh, Zephyr. Should be in the operative word. Is going down very slowly. Now the only way the allies can get their technology from that ship is if they die for it. Alright, we are going to continue the rest of the patrol in areas that are not going to be contested by enemy warships or freighters. Because we have no ammunition left, basically. All we've got is the AA mount. And I don't want to be tangling with enemy destroyers or another convoy with what we've got. So let us... Fast forward through all this, and I'll see you guys back at port. Crash dive. Crash dive. If that's a freighter, we will get get back up, and we will shoot it with the AA mounts. Me thinks. You. Attack periscope. Alright. Zoom out. Thank you. Mm. 
that is an empire tower i believe have a closer look yes it is what is that warship is that a warship over the horizon that's what i want to know doesn't appear so with that kind of arrangement of that's a that's a tanker oh 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 boy Oh boy, it's time to go sinking ships. Ah, it's a Swiss, a Swiss ship. Can't exactly sink it just yet. Alrighty, we would like to send uh, Michael Nod across. And you're going to have a rifle. You're going to be backed up by Karlhein Schutzer, also with a rifle. And four ranks. Loaded it on his ship and where they're headed, he was ready for that since his documents were ready. Prepared and hands them to you right away. He looks a bit nervous when you carefully analyze the document contents. According to the documents, the ship is direct to the port of Bike Vigo and transports utilities. If these documents are correct, the ship is not involved in the war effort. And... Okay. Search, search the hold. Then we're probably going to chase after that one too, aren't we? Probably. And also from your group, looked for him in the freighter, accompanied by a talkative sailor who speaks some German. He shared his view on the war and told about his uncle that married a woman from Hamburg. Guardian searched, nothing suspicious was found. Officer looked at some of the cargo, but haven't found anything unusual. He transported goods. Hiya! He kept him at his office. Now, I don't know about you guys. But I don't think that the way he's heading is not going to the port of Vigo. All right, that's port of Vigo. That's where they're meant to be heading to. They are over here. This is where we are at the moment. They're heading towards Ireland. Double check. Yes, they're heading towards Ireland. Now that normally means that we're, they're telling porkies. You tell the captain that your orders are obligate you to sink this, this freighter and that you must evacuate immediately. Captain's clearly angry about this outcome and angrily responds that you don't have the right to do that, as this is a neutral vessel heading to a country that doesn't participate in the war. At some point he accepts that he cannot prevent this from happening and starts to wave his hand at his crew to proceed with the evacuation of his ship. Return to your ship. They are not heading to Porto Vigo. Porto Vigo is in Spain. This is near Ireland. Of course, it, he's looking a bit shifty. Alrighty. It's very unfortunate that the lifeboats just have to be parked right where I want to shoot it. That's the wrong way. So we're going to put around in there. Around in there. And she's now sinking. Cool. That's where we want to go. Full speed ahead. Uh, actually, stop. There's three interactions nearby. Lifeboat 2. Give them supplies. Let's give you guys some bully beef. You're welcome. Lifeboat 1. Have some bully beef. Full speed ahead. Go into that smudge on the horizon. No, that way. Thank you. What nationality flag are you flying? Apparently Argentine. I mean, you are heading away from... Can we uh, hail a tanker? I think this is the first Argentine ship I've actually ever come across in this game too, even though the flag's slightly wrong. It's meant to have a, a little 
little sun in the center. No, I don't think we can hail a tanker. We'll let these guys go. We shall continue our patrol. Alright, see so you guys back in port. Unless something else interesting happens. Why are we... What the... What the f... Why did the, the, the game glitched out and thought we were submerged even though we've been surfaced the entire time? That is... <sighs> Devs, you need to, um... You need to work on that. Sorry. That is not... That is not good enough. That is not, that is actually not acceptable. I'm running on the surface and it's like, oh no, you're running underwater. N no, I'm not. No, I am not. All right. We've got the Knight's Cross with Oak Leaves. We are... Really? We're 60 tons short? Of completing the first ob tonnage war campaign objective. Ah, Carter's 2 was an English ship. Disguised. Ah, <laughs> called it. Called it. So before we finish to today's episode we are going to quickly go to the character screen get some new skills focus let's go with that one that is so weird that is so weird we didn't apparently use a med kit okay i'll take it we also want to upgrade our ship we got it's almost christmas to timestamp the video or anything we got better improved toilets whilst we were out. So let us upgrade the toilet. That concludes today's episode of U-Boat. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. As always, I've been your host, Sophia Cat. You've been watching U-Boat. And until next time, take care.